Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator and licensed esthetician and Korean skincare fanatic. And today you can see we are in the bathroom. I'm in the bathrobe and that means we're doing a routine video. Specifically, we're going back to my one ingredient routine video where I focus and spotlight on a specific ingredient and a bunch of products that happen to feature that ingredient. And today we're talking about Artemisia. Artemisia itself is kind of like an umbrella term for a specific subset of ingredients and we more commonly know it as mugwort. And within that itself, you can actually find a couple different types Types of Artemisia in skincare. You have Artemisia vulgaris, which is the more common mugwort, but you also have Artemisia princeps, which I think is like the more commonly found one. And I think that's because it's actually Korean mugwort. Primarily what the benefits that people tout when it comes to Artemisia are anti-inflammatory, some wound healing elements. I hear some sources say the potential for antioxidant benefits, but I feel like for any plant, that's always something that gets thrown out there. But to me, it just really helps with calming the skin, soothing irritation. You find a lot in Korean beauty products that are primarily for for that reason. So I'm gonna go and show you a plethora of products that I have. Most of these were sent from Stylevana, not sponsored, they just send the products and I get to test them out and play with them and give my feedback and my review. But a couple of these are actually from April Skin and I'm actually really excited to say I'm officially an April Skin ambassador. And so these are products I've actually mentioned on my channel for months now, nothing new, nothing I've never talked about, but they feature Artemisia and they are staple products in my routine. And of course I have to highlight them in a video about Artemisia. I also did purchase a couple of these products from a Korean beauty retailer owned by my friend. It's called Any Skincare. It's a black owned Korean skincare online retailer. I bought products from her site before and talked about them on the channel, but I always say if you can support black owned business, especially in the Korean beauty space, please do so. The links for those are going to be down in the description box. So let's get into it. Getting things started, obviously full routine video I'm going to cleanse. I just got simple skincare on today, but regardless, I'm still going to oil cleanse and I actually have two oil cleansers. Both of them are from the brand Hanyu. Hanyu I've seen here and there. I never use their products and so I started trying them out for this video but both the products I have are actually oil cleansers and truth be told I could not tell you the difference between them. I have their Pure Artemisia Deep Cleansing Oil and then their Pure Artemisia Calming Cleansing Oil. Different color packaging but realistically these are cleansing oils. To me they look and feel the same on the skin. They kind of serve the same purpose. They're just going to help melt down sebum, sunscreen, makeup. Actually talking about the product itself it's a little bit of that richer oil cleansing texture but the main call out is these are fragranced. These are highly fragranced. So just notes that if fragrance is an issue for you, you will be suffocating because they do smell strong. That being said, my boyfriend did really enjoy these, but to me, they just are really, really perfumed. And sometimes that like gets in my eye and irritates them, but also like gets in my mouth and that flavor lingers and I'm not about that life. But now that we're all oil cleansed, let me rinse this off and we'll get into the regular cleanse. Also to me, they don't rinse off the easiest. They don't like leave a film or anything, but to me, I just feel like I have to like go in and rinse a bunch and like mechanically get it off my skin. But they're not bad oil cleansers. They're just, I had better that are more affordable. But now that that's rinsed off and getting into the second cleanse, next I have a cleanser from Holika Holika, which I don't think I've ever used their products on this channel before. This is their Pure Essence Foam Cleanser Mugwort. Again, this is that Artemisia Princeps. And the interesting thing about it is, as you can see, as I'm dispensing it, there's like a dark, green quality to it and when you feel it it's actually a little bit gritty and as I look into the ingredients list there's actual like powders in it there's clays you have Canadian colloidal clay you have rice extract as well as charcoal powder so those together give it that texture and that quality but also it's like a really rich really creamy lather there's like a smoothness to it I guess there's no actual exfoliating like physical texture to it you don't really feel it in that sense as you're cleansing the only qualm I have is that this leaves you a little bit stripped a little bit squeaky clean but Truth be told, as like someone who has like really oily skin, I don't hate that. I just know people don't love that, and it's not necessarily like the best thing to use every single day. That being said, this on your body when you have like really water resistant sunscreen on works really nicely and feels really good. Also, this is fragranced, and it feels like they wanted it to smell like natural, like grass, like low key what matcha smells like to me. I do not like matcha. And next, we get into hydration. I actually have two different products. First, one I'm going to talk about is new to the channel. It's also by Hanyu. This is their Artemisia Intense of calming toner. And my thing with Hanyun and what I've come to like deduce about the brand and like my mind, like what I associate it with is like, it feels like what Estee Lauder and Clarins is it, but like the Korean format, it seems a little bit 
not cheap, it's not mid-tier, it's not like a luxury, it's in this weird area where it kind of leans towards luxury. Very, very, very fragrance, but also the ingredients, there's like not a lot going on in it that I'm like, that could justify the price point. Like this specifically, I believe looking into it just had like the Artemisia Princeps. It had some botanical ingredients in there, a couple, I think barely, a couple humectants. And it just feels like a really fragranced water with a little bit of something actually, not a lot more. It feels nice on the skin and the benefits are supposed to be it's more soothing. I don't have issues with it, it's heavily perfumed. To to me, it's like what I always criticize Tatcha being, like the lights are on but no one's home. Kind of like that. It's okay though. But my other toner, the one that I actually really enjoy and have featured regularly on the channel is from April Skin. This is the Artemisia Rice Essence Toner and this is just one I really, really enjoy. This has the Artemisia. This is actually the Artemisia Vulgaris in it, the common mugwort. You also have a few humectants in this and to me it just gives you super lightweight hydration. Great for summertime. Really nice for oily skin. This I love just layering up. This chilled or this in a spray bottle as well really really great and fragranced I believe it's also alcohol and essential oil free to me this is definitely a much more safe route more approachable more accessible much preferred I've talked about that on the channel and that's why I wanted to feature the Hanyul one for this video but I have a card up here where I shouted out the April Skin Artemisia toner just so you can see what it looks like on the skin and my talking points on it it's been on the channel for a minute now next I want to talk about an ampule this one is from Isn't Tree it is their Spot Saver Mugwort Ampule I didn't know what Spot Saver was someone who gets acne prone is kind of like oh it's going to help with my spot Maybe it's gonna have something to like reduce the inflammation and like dry it out, kill the bacteria. It doesn't. This was a disappointment. I'm not gonna lie to you. So with the ampule, you have glycerin, licorice root extract, licorice extract, allantoin, as well as calendula. And so seeing those ingredients, a lot of standout. Like I love calendula, did a whole video on it. Allantoin, licorice, like I love those. This to me just feels like water. Like there's not a lot of like hydrating benefits to it. The whole point of the spot saver thing is just it's supposed to be soothing to the skin and I guess actually bring down like the redness and inflammation associated with the blemish. And like with the like licorice extract that has a little bit of a like semen regulating benefit to it. But to me, I'm just like, I'm using a toner that's more rich than this. Like I want this to have more benefits. If not, market this as a toner, give me a bigger bottle. It's not a bad product, I guess. Like it does soothe, but I'm just like, I want more out of it. Like I want to feel more out of it. A little bit of a disappointment, but conversely, but same line, I actually have the Spot Saver Cream. And this is just like my type of moisturizer. It's a gel cream moisturizer, nice lightweight, but really nice feel on the skin. Look on the skin, sets down quickly, not heavy. You don't feel it, but you're nicely moisturized. But complete opposite experience using this and the ampule because I'm like, oh, this I really like. This I reached for a lot. This I reached for a lot, actually. Like it gives me gel cream, like to the T. It's not like a super watery based gel moisturizer texture, but it's not like a super occlusive rich night cream. It's very in the middle, uh, fragrance free, alcohol free, essential oil free. So I think it's a very approachable, sensitive skin friendly option, straight to the point. A lot of the same ingredient call outs as the ampule, just a better formula type, better experience overall. I'd rather go with the cream than the ampule for that. I've been using these products now for a month and like obviously you can see I've made quite a dent in that moisturizer. Conversely, talking about a different moisturizer just because I have it and I have been using it, also from Hanyo. This is their Artemisia Intensive Calming Cream. Again, same vibes, heavily fragrance. Actually, this is out of the three Hanyo products, I think my preferred one. It's just a really nice gel cream moisturizer, but it's heavily perfumed. Not a lot going on formulation wise and I'm like, oh, like I need to use this. This is one I would reach for just to like See, I used it. If anything, to me, I think this is a little bit more of like a lightweight gel texture. So probably like more oily skin friendly or like a, just if you prefer a lighter gel cream, but it's, it doesn't stand out very much to me. But if you love very, very perfumed gel moisturizers, um, Hanyul's got you covered. And then lastly, on the opposite end of the spectrum, this is definitely a much more oily skin friendly, much more lightweight and like true to form like water gel cream. This is the April Skin Artemisia Squalane Hydro Gel Cream. This I featured, I think for the first time back as a December favorite, just because they had sent me the product and I was like, oh, okay, look, I'll try this out. And this, have you ever tried the Belief Aqua Bomb? Like very similar vibes to me. It is the most lightweight, but like nicely nourishing gel moisturizer. And it is just the most lightweight water gel, hydrogel cream, and you work this into the skin and this just smelts in right away. You don't feel this, but you have such a nice lightweight radiance to the skin that it is very oily skin friendly. This is definitely summer skin friendly as well. You have the benefits of really nice humectants. You have the Artemisia, you have glycerin, you also have squalane, as the name mentions. You have niacinamide, allantoin, sphytosphingosine, and you also have ceramide. So it's doing a lot to help your barrier and to make sure your skin has a natural moisturizing factors and the resources it needs to maintain a healthy barrier, but so lightweight on the skin, melts in right away. A really great option for a day cream as well for oily skin, which during the summer, it's hard to find. And I often forego that step if I can, but 
This is an option if you really do need it. You will not be greasy, you will not really feel it on the skin, and your skin will thank you for it. So definitely the best option for oily skin year round, day or night, April Skin's got you. And so that's the end of the general routine. This is nighttime, so I would normally stop here. Generally, this is daytime, I would have a sunscreen, but I actually do not have a mugwort featuring sunscreen. I was gonna feature the Access Y sunscreen, but it is not available at the moment and I couldn't reorder it. So unfortunately, I don't have a mugwort based sunscreen, but if you have a favorite sunscreen that does feature mugwort in any capacity, let me know down in the comments section, as well as what other Artemisia or mugwort based skincare do you really love? I know a bunch of y'all are gonna say the I'm from Mugwort Essence. I do love her too. I just could not get her in time for this video. And I had a lot of other things to try out, obviously. With these, I like to try products or brands I haven't tried before. And we all know I love that Mugwort Essence. So let me know what other Mugwort based products you really enjoy. Standout products for sure. I actually, again, do enjoy this, even though this does leave you squeaky clean, but I don't mind that for the most part. Spot Saver from Isn't Tree, the cream. Definitely really like that. My April Skin favorites, the toner and the squalane. Those are like standard holy grails and I really do enjoy them the most, but I wanted to try other products and venture out a little bit more and you know, Hanyul might have been a choice. But again, the link for all these are gonna be down in the description box. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Thanks for watching, bye.